colleague Danish Anand spoke to the executive director and CEO Rajesh Jajurikar about the new product launch, the pricing, its variants. Listen into what he had to say. Uh, we've had three successful SUV launches over the last four years. This has helped us to become uh, the number one SUV player in the country by revenue market share and the number two by volumes. Uh, but there is one part of the SUV segment where we haven't been as successful. And that is really 25% of the SUV market, which is the compact monocoque segment. That is about 600,000 out of the 25 uh, lakh uh, segment of SUVs. In that segment, we are number five player. In the next two to three years, we would want to be number one or number two in this segment. The 3XO, which we've launched today, is a disruptor designed to take us from five to one or two. We've hence uh, tried to excel in every dimension. Uh, we've called it six pillars, uh, which are the six key, you know, the design, the space, the ride, the drive, uh, the safety, and of course, all the tech that goes uh, with the product. So there are many segments first uh, with this product, and we price them very aggressively to enable us to get growth, grow the category, and also to uh, you know get market share. Right, sir. So, like you mentioned, that this is this is likely going to be a game changer for you in the C segment of the SUVs. If you talk about the entire pricing range, we've seen that it is very elaborate. It starts from right from 7.49 lakh rupees and goes up to 13 lakh rupees. So within these segments, which segment do you think is going to cater to the mass market segment in the country? Yeah, you know, so that's an interesting question, Danish, and that's why we've done this very complex, if we may use that word, varianting, so that we're able to appeal to different segments. The 7.49 lakh variant is really the entry-level MX-1, and that's for first-time buyers of SUVs to really give them a very good product, SUV stands, uh, safety, all of that uh, at a very good price, which is 7.49. We've also created a very interesting variant, uh, which is the gasoline automatic transmission which we priced at less than 10 lakhs. Now, that can be a segment creator because, you know, many people want to buy an automatic transmission in their car, but, uh, you know, it's too way too expensive. So we've created a very good gasoline automatic transmission at 9.99. At the higher end of the market, we're actually looking at market creation. Okay, well, that's the new M&M launch. Uh, looking forward to it, Nigel. Any thoughts on it? <laughs> and pricing is good. Huh? Yeah, it's very pricing good. Pricing is very good. attractive. And, uh, you know, when Mr. Mahindra tweeted about it yesterday as well, it caught your eye. Yeah. Uh, so um, let's see how it goes. But from a pure customer perspective, it, uh, you know, it's it, not bad at it's all. It's not bad at all. And you know, globally what's happening is there was this EV wave. Mm. Now that's cooled down a little bit. So yeah. people globally are now preferring not just IC engines, but hybrid also. Right, right, and not right. so much EVs because of a lot of things, you know, charging infrastructure, costs, etc. So at a time like this, m and launching this IC engine vehicle is good. And the XUV300 has done very well in the recent past. So let's see how this one goes. I'll take some tips from you, Sonia. I'm looking to buy my first <laughs> EV. So I'll take some tips and some advice from you. But that's the vehicle out there. Looks quite beautiful. Okay.